I'm gonna take a risk. You you're gonna risk it all. Okay, you do have an employer. There's going to be changes in the workplace, specifically in the higher ups. Okay, and the seven loss. Oh, the five of cups. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this read is heavy. Those of you that are going to church, there is going to be some drama at church, okay? Hello, Scorpio. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star C Zayat here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is your general read for January 2024. This is a general read. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this free for my Scorpios. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. I heard the name Angela. I also heard the name Dion. Okay, we have South Node on the side. We have Virgo upside down, the Hermit in reverse, Mercury retrograde. And then we have number two on the side, High Priestess on the side, Pisces. Neptune getting ready to station direct. So I do see the month of January. Uh, when it comes to communication with somebody here, um, I do see somebody is not communicating the way you would like them to communicate or they're just, they're just not responding so there is going to be some of that at least for the first two weeks of january i'm also getting something here scorpio um it's this energy of like if you want to go off on somebody really really bad just be weary because it could come back to haunt you you know scorpios can read somebody for filth they can but this is one of those times where it may be best to just Keep it, keep it to yourself, right? Um, I just get, uh, I, I get an interesting energy for this month. So let's see here. What do we have at the bottom? We have the four of wands, okay, and the seven of wands. Seven of cups, higher fence. Okay, so this is a general read. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. Those of you that are going to church, there is going to be some drama at church, okay? Something's going to happen at church. Um, it's just going to be really weird. It's going to be really awkward. You're going to want to switch churches. Some of you are going to not want to go to church anymore for those of you that have been going. I do see here that this month, it's like you you want to be free of this society like you're you're over paying bills and rent and mortgage like you're just you're done with that like this month scorpio i feel like a lot of there's going to be a lot of moments where you're going to be looking at other means of living like it's just something here like you're just over it you're you're, you're over it. the seven of wands like you you like, this Seven of Cups is really telling me, like, you're looking at different options when it comes to how to build your life or how to restructure your life instead of following the status quo. Because the Seven of Wands, it's this energy of you don't want to feel whatever blocks have been going on in 2023, you don't want to feel that 2024. The Fool, Knight of Swords, Five of Cups, The Hangman. Clarify this. This this full energy. Why why is the fool gonna be there? Wheel of Fortune? Judgment. Y'all gonna take a risk. You you're gonna risk it all. Judgment's gonna be there at the bottom. Taking a risk in a new direction. Can I see can I see the other cards, please? Six of Pentacles on the side, two of cups. The star in reverse. Okay, I gotta move her out of the way there. Just briefly. 
Three of Swords. Scorpio, this is such a transformational month for you. It is. This karma, oh, the lovers. And the Ace of Cups is what's at the bottom. Okay. So, January, a love situation is over for you. It is showing here, like, I, I, I don't want to say it's like over, over, but there was somebody here you had high hopes for, but you're really not seeing the progress that you want to see. The star in reverse and the lovers, it's like, it's not, it's just not going where you want it to go. Like, nothing's changing with the situation, so you're just going to move forward, okay? You're just going to decide to move forward here. I do see that here. However, if they, uh, if this individual does decide to step up and wise up and do the healing with this Four of Swords on the side and the Six of Pentacles on the side, if they do decide to have a requited situation with you, then you would be open to pursuing something. But because you're not seeing the improvement or the progress from this individual that you would like, you're choosing to move forward, okay? You're choosing to move into a new direction. I do see here some type of clash with a family member or extended family, okay? Uh, some type of disagreement. This could be over inheritance. This could also be over some type of health issue that somebody in the family is beginning to suffer with or somebody is going to struggle with some type of health issue, some type of autoimmune disease I'm hearing, okay? That's not going to be for everybody, though. Again, I also see stuff, uh, some type of drama going down in, in the church for those of you that are in the church, but uh, it's not going to involve you per se, but I do feel like you're going to remove yourself from that. I am seeing here as well drama in the workplace, okay? So tensions are at an all-time high. People are feeling some type of way. And I do see here there is going to be, again, switches in the career place. This was coming up in the uh, Taurus read. And it's coming up in your read, Scorpio. Those of you that are employed, okay, you do have an employer. There's going to be changes in the workplace, specifically in the higher ups, okay? And this is going to, uh, it's like a dripple effect. It is going to make its way down to every department, you know, every profession, whether it's starting, okay, or senior, okay, whoever you are, love, in the company, it is going to bleed into your aspect, where you fit in the company. And I do see here that some of you are going to fight to stay with the company, the organization, but others, it's like you're sort of going to uh, reject these changes and then you're going to look elsewhere. But I don't see uh, a career switch, so to speak, the month of January, but I am seeing that. Now, those of you that are self-employed, again, similar message from Taurus, you're going to be fighting for your life. You're going to be really, really busy. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm going to get a YouTube comment notification. Those of you that run business or you're self-employed, you're going to be really busy out of nowhere. And it could uh, become very, very stressful. Okay, so do pace yourself. The full Five of Cups, Knight of Swords. I, I see you taking risk, Scorpio. But it's also this energy of you're like you're, you're not feeling satisfied or you're not feeling happy. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are definitely changing in your life. But this change could feel very unwelcome. These changes could feel very uh, out of nowhere, very chaotic, like 0 to 100. You know, the Knight of Swords with the Fool. Just these massive changes could feel you, could leave you feeling in, in an energy of despair, truth be told. It could feel very overwhelming, especially because of the energies that are on this planet at this time. I do see you taking risks when it comes to love, okay, and making love offers to other people. I see you putting yourself out there. I see you attempting to connect with other individuals, okay, after a long time of, you know, hoping for somebody here to level up or, or evolve, you're going to put yourself out there. And it does show opportunity and chance here for, uh, you know, to have fun, to actually share a kiss with somebody here, okay, a very special kiss. Perhaps you have not been kissed in a really long time. So it does show that here. It also shows intimacy. You, you could have been celibate for a very long time as well. 
but there's also this energy of sadness or regret. I see your emotions are very heavy this month, Scorpio, and I feel like it's the energy, it's the shift, but I also feel like it's these changes that are occurring. These changes that are occurring are also going to manifest themselves into certain health things that you're going to be dealing with. Okay, so you have the Six of Wands, the Chariot. I was getting stuff here about a car for a specific group of Scorpios. Your first car purchase, your big car purchase, like you're going to be taking out an auto loan. This is not for everybody, okay? I'm getting so many different messages, so, you know, pick what is yours and leave what isn't for somebody else. But there is a car purchase here. Somebody could be getting a Tesla. Somebody else a Mercedes. I heard Volkswagen. I heard Supra. So some of you could be uh, doom spending, quote unquote. Like you could be feeling like the end of the world is coming. So just buy it. Buy what you want. Judgment on the side. <laughs> and then you have the Hermit. I feel here that I almost get this energy of January. You're like really questioning things. King of Cups. The Sun. Death. Yeah, because something here... It, like, it really feels like this is having to do with, like, Twin Flame. The moon, yeah. Three of Wands, like... Like, you don't want to wait another year for somebody to get their life together. Th this, this, what I'm getting here, the month of January, is, like, acceptance. Like, the stages of grief. But it's like this realization, like, somebody does not want to evolve. They don't want to be in the sun. And you're just done with it. Like, you're done. I, I feel January is going to be more so a month of, like, grieving. Truth be told. The, the grieving process. The acceptance that it's over. Because the High Priestess Moon and the Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles at the bottom, it's almost this energy of like you're, you're looking at somebody here, yeah, Two of Wands, and wondering if you're going to be waiting a whole nother year for an offer to come in from the Knight of Pentacles. Taking forever, very slow moving energy. Okay, so look y'all, I'm just going to be honest. It's not a bad month, but I do feel like it's like acceptance that a person, place, thing, job, whatever, is not for you. And that's okay. But it's this energy of like having to make a change or having to change something. And it's just, it just feels really uncomfortable. This is kind of giving me the Leo Reed vibes. This read is heavy. Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups there? The world, yeah. The world and the... Oh. The world and the tower, yeah. Scorpio. Y'all done. With a situation like after... Uh, I don't know if it's like the year passing or... I don't know, but you're, you're done done this time. Like you are done for real for real this time. With this King of Cups, King of Laws energy. Like, you know that person is in love with you. You know how they feel towards you. But they continue to leave you in the Five of Pentacles with the lovers. So, it's, it's just showing this, this month. You see, some of you are going to just take drastic action and... And leave like you're gonna pack up and leave everything you could even be moving out of the country or something it's just some craziness this is not for everybody but death yeah death and the five of Wands. 
And the seven loss. Oh, the five of cups. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this read is heavy. This month is going to be... Well, it's going to be a good month, okay? Honestly, it's going to be a good month, but I just think it's like... Your disappointment is immeasurable. You really felt high hopes for somebody. Could have been your twin flame, but they're they're not evolving. They're just not. They 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 don't want this love. It's sad, but what more can you do? And I think that's what you're realizing. Like you don't want to wait a whole nother year. For somebody to finally give you everything that you know they want to give you. I think that's the part that's eating some of you up. Is that you know deep down that's what they want. They want to be with you. So why are they doing this to themselves? They, they, they don't just break your heart. They break their own heart doing this. But they don't, they don't want to see it like that. This is the ego. This individual is acting out of their ego. So they're, um, until they break down their ego, you know, you're never going to be able to get through it to them. It, it's their ego that's really keeping this storm going. But y'all, it even says here, emotional withdrawal, like you're, you're going to walk away from the situation for good. And I, I think the whole month of January isn't so much, a, a lot of these reads are spiritual or they're not about predictions at all. Because I feel the whole month of January for you is like closure and coming to peace with it. And that's basically it. And one more can be said about this. At this point, lightning, soulmates, yeah, and time off. Because there was supposed to be a celebration this lifetime between you and that person, but... Uh, you're, uh, you're, you're choosing to restrict yourself to move forward. Mountain, fluidity, and phoenix. Abundance, yeah. Yeah, the, the, this, this is an energetic update. Like, this is what's coming with the energy, and, and you're just, yeah, isolation and waiting game. An angel. Oh, y'all finding out the truth. That's why. That's what this is. You're finding out the truth. You're finally finding out everything about somebody here. Um, uh, you know, I, I just feel like this evil eye, you're, you're, you're going to be done manifestation and passion but this individual is going to want to give you good you know what but yeah good news telling you that they will commit or something and honor this spiritual decree with you but love only for you to end up this in this ghosting and contracts so it's showing y'all finding out the truth about your twin flame this month and why they ghosted the mission. And it's it's going to be a process for you this month. It is. I'm very sorry this is the message, but the tower, you're you know, you're finding out the truth here. You're you're finding out something. And it it, it, ain't, it ain't pretty. Okay. It ain't it ain't too pretty. Uh I'm wondering if they were out on the streets doing things they shouldn't have been doing. So that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.